Hey guys and welcome back. In one of my last videos I pointed out 10 mistakes you should not make in Valheim and gave you some general tips to the game. Today I have 10 tips and tricks for you that are more focused on beginners, so I try to make it as spoiler free as possible. Number 1. Jump against trees to prevent yourself from getting killed by them. Felling trees is essentially in Valheim and it will be from the beginning to the end. And some of you might have been killed by falling trees already, so this tip is probably helpful for you. Once the tree starts to fall, jump against it so it will fall away from you. This way you can not only prevent yourself or other players from getting killed, but you can also define the direction the log is falling and create a chain reaction. This might be pretty simple, but it will make wood cutting more controllable. Tip number 2. Hunt deer and birds right from the start. Pretty early in the game you can craft the crude bow that gives you the opportunity to hunt deer and birds. And even if it doesn't seem like you need their resources at this time, take my advice and hunt them. Deer will drop meat and hide that you need to craft weapons and clothes, and birds will drop feathers that are needed to craft stronger arrows. You will need a lot of arrows in the game and because of this a lot of feathers, so don't ignore this for too long. Tip number 3 comes as an addition to number 2 and it is use wooden arrows when hunting. At the beginning of course you can't use anything else than wooden arrows, but later on you should still use them to hunt deer, boars, necks and birds. The reason is that the wooden arrows are strong enough to kill these animals with one shot, so you don't need to use the better ones and can save on feathers, flint and metal. If you don't want to waste any arrows at all, you can also use a spare that you can throw by clicking the mouse wheel. That needs a bit of practice, but won't use up any resources. And that leads me straight to tip number 4. Use the mouse wheel attack of your weapon, no matter which one it is. Almost all weapons in Valheim have a special attack when you click the mouse wheel. With a sword you can stop, with a hammer you make a strong swipe attack and the spare can be thrown like this. Especially against stronger enemies, this attack is really helpful and necessary to keep the fight short and your viking alive. The attack needs more stamina than a normal attack, so always keep an eye on your stamina bar. Tip number 5. Don't run or retreat with the weapon in your hand. I don't say this because I'm afraid that you could hurt yourself. It's simply because it slows you down a lot. Compared directly, you are much faster without the weapon in your hand. To put it away, simply press R on the keyboard. By pressing R again, your viking will draw the last used weapon. So if you want to retreat from combat, press R and run. Tip number 6. Learn to parry as soon as possible. In my last tips and tricks video I was talking about the importance of blocking and that's right, blocking is important, but what I forgot to say is that you can also parry with shields and weapons. And that will be more and more important when you progress to other biomes with stronger enemies. Later in the game you will get attacked by enemies that can hit through your block and will still deal damage to you, so parrying is the best technique then. To block you simply hold the right mouse button as long as you want, but to parry you have to time your block. When an enemy starts an attack you have a moment to react and press the right mouse button. Then you will parry the attack and the enemy will get pushed back. With your next hit you will receive a parry bonus that differs from weapon to weapon but is pretty high in general. That will give you the chance to kill even strong enemies with 2 or 3 hits, so let it become second nature to you. Tip number 7 is about the Black Forest, the second biome you will explore in Valheim. If you have been there already you might have seen these little towers. In front of them you can find wooden barrels sometimes. Don't forget to destroy them, cause they are filled with different loot like deer hide, resin, leather scrap or coins. These are all resources you need during the Bronze Age and even later on, so keep your eyes open for the barrels. Tip number 8, because I was talking about exploring already, don't be afraid of exploring and fighting. In Valheim you only learn by doing and you will only find biomes, resources and bosses by exploring, so don't be afraid of doing this. When you fight, you will level up your skills for blocking, for specific weapons, for running, jumping and anything else. So don't avoid it. I'm not telling you to run into every fight like a headless chicken, but get into fights as much as possible. Enemies are not only for collecting their resources, but also for improving your skills. The same with exploring. Take your time and roam around or sail along the shorelines. This way you will uncover your map and get a good overview of your surroundings. 
And while doing this, you will definitely find the only friendly NPC on the Valheim map, the trader Haldor. You can find him somewhere in a black forest biome, mostly close to the shore. And that leads me to tip number 9. Get the belt and the headlamp from the trader as soon as possible. If you haven't found the trader before you are able to build a boat, then this should be your first task, once you have one. Haldor has different tools to offer, but the most important are the belt Mayingar and the Dvarigar circlet. I'm sorry if I pronounced these items completely wrong, but my Norwegian is a bit rusty. The belt, however, will raise the weight you can carry from 300 to 450, so this will be helpful once you start to mine ore, and the circlet will light your way in the darkness of the burial chambers in the Black Forest and also later on in the swamp. And the last tip for today is, you can use the minimap as a clock. When you are at your base, you can build a simple sundial to tell the time, but when you are exploring, you won't have a sundial with you unless you are Wilma Flintstone. So the easiest way to tell the time is to look at the sun and then at the minimap. The top of the map is always north, so if you imagine an overlay like this, you easily know how much time you still have until the night is coming and the enemies will spawn at a higher rate. And that's it for today. Feel free to tell me in the comments below if you want more of these tips or maybe tips to a specific topic. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned. Until then, thanks for watching, I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.